I'm going to share my story of, of my CA story as I say with you. I was, uh, if I recall correctly, it was about two weeks uh, into my grade 10 holidays, after grade 10, and my father and I were sitting together in the evening and he said, you know, you have to do your CA. That something I knew was coming because we discussed it in the past. And I said, you know, CA to must be after grade 12. So I, I wasn't protesting. Then he said, there is an exam called the DCOM. And if you do that, you can start your CA, studying for your CA now. And that got me really panicked. I tried to explain to him, you know, every teenager at that time wants to have a good time. See if percent, pass percentage was 3 or 4%. And I was terrified at the thought of trying to do it. Anyway, he said that, look, if you don't do your CA, you can't join us at work. And I, I could just see all my ambitions, all my aspirations fly out of the window. I didn't have a choice. I didn't enjoy doing it at all. Uh, I pretty much grumbled through the four years. Somewhere in the middle, he told me, look, you have to do it. You either cry your way through it, or you just do it. So I decided, okay, we'll just do it. Um, soon after, uh, I joined work as life has it. My father passed away. I was pretty young. Uh, a very large business uh, empire, if I can call it that. Uh, and I really realized very quickly how much my CA, what I learned in my CA curriculum, was of use to me. I have to share with you that if it wasn't for what I had learned from our profession, I think I would have found it very difficult. It was anyways a daunting task. But the fact that I was CA, people looked at me with some respect. Uh, the fact that I was a CA, I understood, I grasped quickly. Um, I'd also done my MBA after that, that also was a help. But Studying a CA, doing a CA was truly something that came to my rescue when life really put me at the deep end. So I'm truly, truly grateful um, for what I've learned from the CA Institute to the Institute 